What's up, friends of the good boot? This is Manny, and welcome to the new Sharanga Titan with a triple Lunar Grom shotgun. 500,000 damage per second. I'm not even joking. This is one of my best videos in a long time, guys. You get these uh, testing scenarios here where I delete an Arthur in seconds, for example, then a Nodens and then a Minos, right? And in between, you get gameplay on the live server that I show you uh, where I delete enemy teams, okay? Lunar Grum, Antimatter three times, and Quantum Sensor against the Stealthers. This is what you can expect from this video, so sit down, lean back, and enjoy. But first, meet millions of players. Explore near endless champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeons, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches in Raid Shadow Legends. Use my link below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. Here's something I really love about Raid. It's the coherent setting and atmosphere within a faction itself. I'm a big fan of the orcs, for example, and taking a look at them, their armor, their weapons, their style really shows that the game designers love what they're doing and that they have a lot of love for the detail. This month, by the way, Raid is getting a massive update with tons of new content. 11 new champions, 200 brand new missions with an exclusive legendary champion waiting as a reward at the end. Five new levels to almost every dungeon. Uh, you're never done playing Raid, ladies and gentlemen, but this is a great time to get started. And use my link down in the description to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC and start summoning champions right away. So come find me in the game under the name Manny G. Alright, so here we are in the next situation, or first, in the first situation on a live server um, with a chaotic team in front of me doing all kinds of things and uh, absorber shields. The Grum shotguns are gonna take care of it. Don't you worry about it, ladies and gents. 500,000 damage per second. Even double Havoc Ravanas, not a problem. Not even when there's an extra Ao Chun firing at us. Boom, there he spawns, boom. This guy down, sag, that's it, come on, die already. Oh, the shield comes up, pam, 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 pam. And there goes one Ravana, okay? Next Ravana comes up, extra damage activated, boom, almost down to last stand. And the reason I have the quantum sensor, by the way, is so because I constantly get attacked by Ao Chuns, Nightingales would suppress me and all this and would do all the nasty things. And uh, yeah, that quantum sensor, in my opinion, pays off big time here, having it definitely worth it. Now, I would like, you see here to the right, there are, um, there are plenty of titans. I would like to shoot at them from above and do tremendous damage to these guys, but I can't. I get constantly re-attacked by people from the left side here. New spawning in vehicle uh, things, uh, a, a, a hawk from the left, and now uh, there's an Ao Ming. And in two or three shots, I'll take down that entire Ao Ming here, despite losing a weapon already. And I took him with me in literally like two or three seconds. 500,000 DPS, what do you want, right? So here we have another one of those tests, right? That I that I put in between every gameplay scenario. Um, in this case, it's my Max Minos on my own account, and I activated Reflector. Let's find out if it's worth it firing at the Minos with Reflector, or if you should really just go and time him out with a Phase Exile ability in the meantime, and then take him on afterwards. Spoiler, the second is the better choice. Take a look at how much damage I take when I do 500,000 DPS to Aminos with Reflector on. Top left, this isn't even 500,000 DPS because I haven't even activated the bonus damage yet. Now I did that and uh, thankfully the ability went down. I actually lost my own weapon and I did tremendous damage to myself. This is how it looks like when I hit the Minos when he doesn't have the Reflector. Take a look at this, extra damage activated and BAM! BAM! <laughs> Dude, two hit kill! Do you believe me now when I tell you 500,000 DPS, guys? Foreshotting an entire Nodens here, and the damage boost wasn't even running anymore. So, with the damage boost, that would have been a three hit kill. Pam, pam, pam. Entire Nodens would have been gone. This guy spawned fresh in front of me. One hit last stand, second hit dead. Oh man, what do you want to do against this guy spawn raiding you? This, this robot here spawn raiding you? There is n you don't want to play this map anymore. You want to go somewhere else. Um, imagine you can't even spawn anywhere else anymore. This is crazy. I'm also going to show you what it looks like when you fire at a, a, a hawk in his reflector. See, this guy, for example, one hit almost to last stand. And here comes a big problem that I do. I wanted to. I saw that the last stand is very close for act before activation. So what I did here, I activate the extra damage and I'm trying to get him down to last stand, but look how much damage I'm taking in the meantime, dude. This is insane. I just couldn't get him to last stand. He was somehow healing back so much HP in the meantime. I don't know why. 
Oh, I should have done just just face exile. Uh, but guys, if you like this video, you find it entertaining, maybe I was able to teach you or something, or you had a little smile on your face for a second, then uh, take then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. Hit that notification bell and give the video a thumbs up uh, in in case you did actually like it. Here's a freshly spawned uh, Arthur. Finally, after like five minutes of fighting here, I actually get a healing pulse from the Nodens. I don't know why he hasn't done that in the last five minutes that he was on the battlefield. But now I finally get some healing and uh, I am able to survive thanks to that. Although I did lose a weapon already. Um, so yeah, six million damage spawn rating. Not a problem here, man. Even gotten six beacon grabs. And next situation, there is an enemy. No, in this case, it's my own. Uh, but it's the enemy uh, Sharenga Titan with the striker there. Uh, activating extra damage and bam, 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 bam. It's a matter of three seconds. Seriously, if you just fire at this thing, three seconds, 900,000 health, gone. We're 822. Absolutely no problem. Uh, it's it's just completely not so much damage you can do and let me show you that these shotguns though are even good at long range uh, Look, this is a, okay. This is I think what is that a Cossack? Is that a Cossack? Dude, what the heck? All right. Anyways, um, I, I let me show you that even at 500 meters range against the Titan You will do a lot of damage. You're actually doing relatively close amounts of damage compared to the machine guns Look extra damage activated. Take a look at his health. Look how fast he goes down from this. This is, this is 450 meters range and he's going down as if I was focus firing him with the machine guns. Seriously, it, it seems to me like you don't need the machine guns at all anymore. Just go with the shotguns, it's the same thing, just better in every regard. Take a look at that guy, okay? Activating extra damage, he's at 260 meters. BAM! 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 Bye, dude! <laughs> oh, man! Next Titan comes out, bye as well! Have a good one, see you in the next life! Oh, dude, this is br just brutal. Here, uh, firing in sequence at shielded opponents, always the right thing to do, right? You don't want to fire three shots into a shield when you can do the same thing with one shot and then the next shots are already dealing damage to his robot. Uh, again, quantum sense are very useful here against Ao Ming's, uh, Ao Chun, sorry. Uh, time out for the Hawk. That's what you gotta do, right? I'll show you a situation in a second where we really focus fire a reflecting hawk, my own hawk on my own account. Uh, I land it and I make the ability activated directly next to this thing. Uh, but look at this un unfair position here. Isn't this the most unfair spot to ever be at with the Sharenga and the shotguns? Take a look at that poor kid. It's almost sad to see how he goes down not doing any damage to me because there's no way. I'm holding up those weapons perfectly across the cover here. And we have a Minos Titan coming around the corner. Unfortunately though, he has his reflector still. I'm giving him one big hit, a big hit here, and then he activates the reflector. And that's when I stop doing damage to him. After that hit, I should have deactivated uh, his thing already. And then he gets me killed with a charge, but you can beat a Minos in one-on-one. -on -one. You just have to make him phase exile uh, through his, uh, his ability, and then you get him, okay? So here's the situation I described. I'm I'm activating the Hawk ability next to the Sharenga, okay? And then we're giving it everything we've got. Maximum firepower with the activation of the ability. Let's see how much damage we do to ourselves, how much damage we do to a fully maxed Hawk uh, in his reflector state. Let's find out, is it gonna be worth it to fire at the reflector here? Extra damage going, bam, 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 bam. Look at this. We're doing ridiculous amounts of damage. But we're not even hitting everything. Some shots in the background hitting the wall, so some shots still missing. Uh, but you see, we have done a lot of damage to him, but we have also done a ton of damage to ourselves. Probably more damage to us than we did to him in terms of numbers. Um, and in my opinion, don't forget, normally the Hawk would be lasering to you as well, right? So we would be dead now. Uh, in my opinion, it's absolutely not worth it to fire at a Hawk uh, that's in his reflector. Same goes for the Minos. Don't do it. We certainly figured out that you should never uh, uh, do that unless he's like at 1 or 2% health and you can finish him off. Of course, then you do it. But if he's at good amount of health or it looks like he's counter healing or getting healed, forget it. Just face exile him uh, and, uh, and do a timeout for him. We took down half the Minos there. Did you see that, man? At that range, we took down half a Minos. Why would I ever run a machine gun if the shotguns are this powerful, right? And not having a stupid reload to worry about. This is out, out, out of control. Look here, quantum sensor again. 
hitting him already before he even reaches the ground. Tons of damage here. Phase Exile for... Um, <laughs> his name is Poor Lix and his clan is Poor. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, we Phase Exile hit him again. Look, I dropped him by 50% with a shotgun at this range. And that's a very teeny tiny robot. Uh, it's not a big Titan target. So, yeah. I don't think there's any more reason to run the, shot uh, the machine guns at all. If you have uh, shotguns that are this good at range. Um, so, we have a Stealth Flying Ao Ming. No, Ao Chun. I constantly... Oh, 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 okay, we have an Ares. I'm waiting for him to start firing with his built-in weapons. And when he does that, this is when I uh, time him out, phase exile for him. That means all his built-in weapons that would now be firing are not gonna fire. I timed him out just in the moment when his built-in weapons would start to fire, and it's not gonna happen because, well, he can't during the timeout. Um, it's the best time to, uh, to do this to the Ares. Okay, we have another Ao Ming right here, uh, Ao Chun next to us, Ao Chun directly in front of us. Uh, quantum censoring him down and after that, timeout. Nah, <laughs> I love doing this, man. This is so much fun. Then he comes out of these ability pots and gone. He's not really gained anything from his stealth ability. He was timed out the whole time. So, doing maximum damage, dropping this guy so fast to 50% health. I don't know why I just got locked, but uh, he well went back out again. We can finish him off. Bam, 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 bam insane damage and even these two robots in the distance firing at me right there they're not really doing that much damage keep in mind a max level Ao Ming uh, no a max level a Titan always has a lot of health and resistance so normal robots have a hard time dealing damage to it boom bye now this Ao Chun is gonna start flying in a second let's drop this Hawk to last stand first okay he's gonna fly we're gonna time him out eyeballing in the meantime this guy BAM 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 comes out of his it, in the middle of his stealth ability I'm just deleting him right there comes out of it BOOM finish BOOM my kill BEYOND GODLIKE those shotguns are just insane seriously I think this is actually um, aside from the striker sh long range sniping which is of course very useful I think this may actually be the best setup aside from the long range version um, so let's see how much damage we've done here and uh, have I promised too much ladies and gentlemen is this not an awesome video that I'm showing you here here let me show you how much damage a um, uh, an Orochi with activation of uh, overdrive can do uh, during his one ability run with a do double devastator take a look at this 822,000 health on the Sharanga Titan take a look at this bam 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 with overdrive Look how dangerous one Orochi is against you. One Orochi can drop you by 50%. And you can't even heal back the damage because it was Devastators. Alright, so what does the Sharanga Titan say about this? Boom! He says. Bam, bam. Music is going nuts. Get it? Yeah! Let's have some fun here. That's how we do it in the money town. Bam, 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 bye bye, Minos. This is just too good, man. I love this. This song, this everything. Time out! And I'm getting shielded. <laughs> Boom! Still getting shielded. Okay, here we go with another hawk. He's not firing at anyone, so I'm not timing him out. Got it! Kill! There comes an Ao, Ao, uh, Ao, Ao Ming there in the distance, 400 meters. Take a look at how much damage he's taking. He's taking much more damage than I'm taking from his machine guns. Although I'm not sure if he was even hitting me. Uh, and here we go. Boom! 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 Oh! <laughs> Dude, such a mean- uh, the Ao Ming is, like, destroyed so fast. Here's a Minos coming in. I slowed him down with a phase exile. But he's still running fast. Uh, I want to make him use his reflector. Okay. Activating extra damage. Boom. 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 Look at this, man. He's activating his reflector now. And I'm just phase exiling through his reflector. Because my team wouldn't be doing damage to him anyways in the meantime, so... And here we go. Bam, bam. Extra damage. Just so crazy. It is so crazy. 
So yeah, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This was the brand new Sharanga Titan uh, with, um, yo, with uh, the Grom, Luna Grom shotguns doing never le less than 5 million damage and killing even an Arthur, a fully maxed Arthur, one level 150 Arthur in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a half seconds, right? Pretty crazy if you ask me guys, but for now this is it. Hopefully you had some fun watching I, I'll be eyeballing the likes on this one. Uh, it was a lot of work to cut this together Hopefully you're gonna have you had some fun. We'll see each other in the next video episode money signing off. Bye. Bye